Hi, this is Shannon with Chic and Sassy Nails by Shannon. We are going to start with my next mani. We are going to do some slanted uh, French tips using the set uh, Speedy, Swe Speedy Sweetie. I'll show you. Speedy Sweetie. It's a tongue twister for me. Um, I took one whole strip out and I actually am going to mess around a little bit with with the angle and the stripes um, and stuff like that. So I do want to start with the darker with the so how see how there's some stripes or some sets that have the double with the like the little dark part there. I want to start with that one so I can figure out how I want to angle it. So my method is I'm going to cut and just follow the line of the design itself to get how I want to do it. And then I'm just going to slant it on the corner of a couple nails. So I'm going to cut, yeah, we're going to, I'm not going to cut it. We're just going to use the tweezers and try to get two, two of those, I think. I want to be intentional about which, um, which fingers I'm adding those ones to, but let's just see how it Okay, so we're going to do, I have that, I think we're going to do, let's see if I, uh, I want a little more. If I can get it up, I do have. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out how far down I want to go. I do have, um, what's it called? Um, ridge filler on, on the base of my nails, and then oopsie, I'm gonna do the same. Same finger, we're gonna go opposite because I tend to I like to do opposite usually. I don't know how far down I went. Eh, close enough. All right, so I'm going stripes at an angle, like I said. As the French tips, I am going to go, let me look at my bingo square really quick. I can't remember if I'm supposed to do all of the nails or if I have the option. I don't remember. I do, I like to do this a lot, so I probably shouldn't have done it as my first one because I could have saved it. Well, I'm kind of in a hurry today too, so there's that. I feel like I'm always in a hurry when I do my videos for some reason. Um, let's see here. Slant. Maybe slanted tips wasn't a thing. Negative space accent finger or full set of negative space. Oh, we'll just call it the full set of negative space. Oh wait, no. Try French tips. Stacy slants or Carrie Pines tiny. We'll use this as negative space because I do want to try the little tiny, uh tips that I see Carrie Pine doing all the time but I haven't um and I haven't tried that yet I want to watch a demo of how she does them so I know that's gonna happen at some point I just don't know when so okay so let's start with those and then I'm gonna I'm hoping I can use this on that one. 
and it not be too small. But we'll see. When I cut the... Well, it's hard for me to cut this way. I'm going to cut this way because when I'm right-handed, I feel like I can't cut on the left side very well. So I usually don't freehand cut straight lines. I usually use my X-Acto knife and a uh, ruler, a metal ruler, and then but because this has a guide, it has a stripe on it, I'm feeling more confident in doing that. So I'm going to pull this tab off. And I'm going to try to see if I can get enough of the strip. <gasps> this strip's stuck. I had a hard time getting this one out. Dang it. I'm going to grab the other one. That strip stuck to the um, sleeve a little bit, like it got too warm. It was a little sticky, and it is actually sticking to the backing. So I'm going to see. Or you know what? Maybe I'll just use the thumb. And then just do the single stripes on all those. Let me see if that's even enough. It would be, yeah, let's see here. If I can get the rest of this off without it sticking, maybe. Let's see, if I can get the rest of it, then I could just use the other side, the other pinky on my, um, the other pinky on my other hand. Okay, we're just gonna, I'll just commit and do that because it is gonna stick to the cuticle or the ridge filler. All right, so we'll just get rid of the excess and then I will use the other pinky strip and save the thumbs for a different Manny. Okay, so I wanted those darker tips and then the rest of them are going to be these. I'll save the thumb. I should be able to get the rest done with those. Let me just grab it. Yeah, you can see there's like little residue. The set was a little sticky, so it's stuck in the package a little bit. I'm not going to close it up yet. So I'm actually pairing this with, I haven't even said. So this is Beady Sweetie, which is hard for me to say for some reason, and it is going to be paired with Crystal Couture. I'm putting that over it, um, which I'm excited about. I I know I've worn it, but I can't remember when I've worn it or what I wore it with because I had it as an open set. So, but the speedy sweetie is part of the new spring catalog the um that came out last month and it has the pretty it's called pretty tough it has a like a uh kind of the um what am i trying to say dual What am I trying to say? Kind of the opposites with the uh, grunge, but yet uh, and also the soft. Oh, this one's sticking too. All right. The grunge, but still soft, delicate, feminine type feel to it. All right. Let's see if I can still make this work, even though the edge ripped. Might not have gone down as low, but that's life. It'll work. It'll work. I could have gone down a little bit lower to make it more even like the other snail, but 
being my non nail fee hand, I am not quite as concerned. My poor right hand does all the work, gets none of the credit. All right, so we have had a week. So last, I don't know if it was even Monday. Monday, my youngest kiddo went to school. Even though they weren't, they were kind of starting to get a cough, but weren't feeling the best. But they missed a lot of school, and they um, had missed the previous Thursday, and then Friday they were off. So we went, or they went, and then we... But by Tuesday, uh, they were super sick and they had to, and they stayed home. And because their birthday was this weekend, I took them in on Tuesday right away in hopes of getting a jump on anything, like if it was strep. Uh, we had done COVID test at home. That was negative. Strep test at the doctor's office was negative as well. Doctor looked and th just kind of thought it was a virus like anything else and then or like lots of things are going around hoping by t hoping they would get better um before sunday because sunday was my kiddo turned 14 and we were going to do roller skating roller blading birthday party and um this it didn't basically they missed all week of school and had to cancel the birthday party or re while we're rescheduling um and then with that sorry, sorry i'm gonna follow this line again um so yesterday was monday and i sunday night they were just hacking like they had totally all of it had moved into their chest and um with asthma they get that a lot with the Anytime they would eat when they were younger, they used to get a cold it would always go into their chest. So we have, I was like, okay, we used to get a zithromyc zithromy azithromycin as part of their asthma plan when they got this bad. Um, when it got to that kind of ha hacky, phlegmy cough. Um, but we hadn't been doing asthma stuff for a while since they had kind of grown out of it. So I was I'm like I decided Sunday night we're gonna take them into the doctor, get everything checked out, make sure, um, make sure it wasn't like pneumonia or RSV. I kind of had a feeling it might be pneumonia, and then um, and at the minimum I wanted to try to the Z pack again from um, what they used to do when they were um, being treated more for, for their asthma, coughing fits that they would get. And, oh, I slightly did that one too low, but that's okay. I think I can fix that. And, ah, so needless to say, we talked about what I was, what I wanted checked out. And my, sorry, my curve now is hard to do. I want to just see if I can get it straight looking. Um. And told them about this, you know, is it the medicine? They doctor it was a nurse practitioner that we don't normally see. She listened to uh my kiddo's little chest and could hear then it was like, oh, sounds like pneumonia. <laughs> so needless to say, we didn't have to do any more testing or x-rays or anything. And we started antibiotics last night. So just some unexpected Kind of a bummer to have pneumonia on your birthday but hopefully now they can get better and hopefully back to school still this week we don't have school friday i don't remember why i feel like they've been getting lots of days off oh no we do have well it's like a distance learning like an e-learning day so they're supposed to be doing class room work but at home on friday and then Thursday they are supposed to be going up to our high school um the orchestra kids are doing like a some sort of I don't even know what it is some sort of orchestra festival thing where they're all playing up at the high school I think all the middle schools and I don't exactly know what it is but um 
that is supposed to happen on on um Thursday. So hoping they're better, but today it still seems the same. They're still coughing a ton, and it's just that like I don't know. They're just not better yet. So, but it's only been two doses, so I can't expect a miracle. I just want them to do be, be better. So that has been a bummer. So I've been running doctor's office and pharmacy and in the midst of regular uh, appointments I already had. We, oh, and then on sat Sunday, I was unloading the dishwasher and I wasn't even doing a thing. And I just like went to reach and put a fork away or something. Twist a little, I twisted a little bit and I tweaked my back and now my herniated disc in my lower back is bothered, is like flared up again. So I am going to the chiropractor this afternoon as soon as I'm done with my nails here. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut this in half and I think that'll be easier. Um, if I can find the shiny side, remember to always place it back on the shiny side. Um, so then between the, my back and just running around, I've been exhausted. Needless to say, I am a little behind on Color Street mailing stuff. So if you have requested your free sets, if you purchased last week um, during the Leap Day special that I did, everything has been was kind of put on hold this weekend when I had a sick kid on their birthday. And um, I have started pulling sets but I am not close. I am not ready to mail them yet. So it'll be a few more days, I'm sure, before I get everything packaged up. But March is birthday month for us here at the Petzl household. Uh, youngest had their birthday on Sunday. Like I said, bummer. We have since rescheduled for another three weeks or another two weeks two or three weeks. I got to look at the calendar, uh, rescheduled birthday party. So that should be good to go as long as everybody stays healthy. And then, um, oldest kiddo. So youngest kiddo turned 14. Oldest kiddo is turning 17 next Tuesday and has planned and has decided that, uh, are taking their friend. They have, so listen to this, they have to take the ACT on their birthday. <laughs> at school so all of the uh juniors are taking their acts at the same time like at the school it's free so that's nice for the kids um but it's but they don't have a normal day that day so i put this too low i gotta move it without i gotta i don't want to ruin it it did ruin my ridge filler a little bit Hopefully it'll get covered up enough. So the problem with taking this off when it's a stripe like that is that it kind of stretches out the stripe. So now I feel like it's too high. Sorry, I got to go like in between where I just wanted to go. All right, sorry. Stop talking for a minute. Focus. Okay, so they get an ACT. So when they were freshmen, they did a pre-ACT and sophomores and then now they'll do one ACT at the school uh my oldest did their ACT in October we did a paid one just to get one in and see what their score was they did very well um but they might as well take the free one and see if they can get a little couple more points but um we are doing so they get they have to take the ACT the morning of their birthday, but then they get done with school early. So then they're done after the test. So they're done around, I think, 12 or 1230. Um, and then I said that I think a couple of, or at least one of her friends has to work. So they are going to do lunch after the ACTs. And I told them, then I will pay for that. Um, or I'll pay her back. She can pay and then because they don't because they won't let me come i really wanted to go with because they're trying a restaurant that i wanted to try um do i can i use the the not the 
thumb. Can I use that and get enough? I'm going to. All right. Um, but apparently my teenager does not want me to come up to their birthday lunch with their friends. So, but they are going to go try a new ramen place by our house. So I'm super excited because I wanted to try it, but it looks really cool. The, the like ambiance is super cool. So they can take some fun pictures and then, um, hopefully they like the food and then, yeah, so that's going to be, and then I'm going to go pick up. They wanted mochi donuts for their birthday treat. My kiddos are not big fans on cake. So we don't generally do birthday cake here. So the youngest picked um, chocolate fondue, which is our family tradition on New Year's Eve. Um, but we have done it for birthdays before. And then, like I said, my oldest is going to pick mochi donuts. So that are our, that's our birthday treats. And then, so that's next Tuesday, and then my birthday uh, is more towards the end of um, March. So, and we're going to do my youngest birthday party that weekend of my birthday. So, but that is fine because I will just want to like get dinner or do something like that for my birthday. Um, mine's, mine's on Friday. All right, so let's cut this in half if I can do it without ruining anything. And then hopefully it's enough to do my sum. It should be able to. Let's get the, make sure I'm putting it on the right side. Set that there until I'm ready to use it. I kind of messed up the ridge filler application because I was doing too many things so it was a little bit uh oh this didn't get straight there it's straighter oh it's not perfectly straight it's okay um the ridge filler I was too impatient and uh, I was too impatient letting it dry so I kept touching it which I suppose that's the deal with the liquid polish is why we love Color Street, is that we don't have to wait for liquid polish to dry. But the ridge filler, I was, so I got a little bit of some marks on that on my thumb and where I lifted up the strip earlier here to reposition. I got a mark there. But I am putting on top. A glitter overlay on top of that so it should be fine once I do that and then I'm checking my time here I just have my um what's it called left my overlay so that shouldn't take too long that is not in the right spot at all I think I'm going too low on these. All right, they don't match, but that's life. <laughs> that is my hardest part about my little, like laying them down to look similar to each other. It's the hardest part of these slanted tips I think but this is not a uh my own Manny idea well I'm just adding an overlay but the I did see a friend another friend stylist whose name also happens to be Shannon do the French tips with the with this and I loved it so I am using that same idea which i don't think is going to be a completely unique idea anyway because it's kind of an obvious application with the stripes sorry i'm putting all that away oh i need this i didn't need to put that away we're going to open this really quick and get our crystal couture is going to be our overlay uh, which is a sparse chunky glitter um and I'm excited to to use over this. So hopefully 
Let me see what I have left of these. Oh, I have a lot. One, two, three, five. I need one more. We'll do that. I lie, we'll do this. All right, so that should be good if I take those ones. This is all crazy. So anyway, I have piles of my little method of pulling sets as I write everybody's the name and the sets they claim on a post-it note. Oh, oh, why did this get turned off? And um, so I have little piles of post-it notes because I have mystery manis. So if you bought during the, my, so leap day was the 29th, but if you bought, cause, but we had launch on the 28th of the Easter sets and, um, the foundation set for March, the all together. Oh, I have those. I should show them to you guys. I don't have it open, but, um, you know, what? I'll do a different video. I forgot I had to get going here. That'll be, or I'll go live in the group and um, do that. So anyway, sorry. The, um, as I was saying, the, um, if you ordered during the leap day sale, I had a deal going on, basically a free mystery bundle with every, um, one per person for anyone who ordered the 27th or the 28th. That was my little special for leap day. And I, um, so if you've been around long enough, I did do, um, I used to do mystery Manny of the month club. And basically I'm going to do like that for what, for what, um, the mystery bundles is. So you don't, it's a surprise set. Um, and I usually throw some twosies and then a little bonus gift. And that is what I have to pack up too. So I am, I have free sets from loyalty card uh, claims. If you've claimed a loyalty card set. Oh, one thing too, is if you are in my loyalty card program and you have not noticed, or if you didn't read or didn't see when it, when I relaunched the program that the, when you per when you go to claim your sets that there are multiple tabs on in Yumihu and that they have different values of um item like there's different numbers of tickets that the items are worth so i kind of am doing a ticket system like the like if any of your kids ever go went to arcades or go to arcades where they can win those like physically we used to be able to win physical tickets like at Chuck E. Cheese and um I don't know, we had a place called Circus, Circus, but and then you can go take your tickets after you have X amount of tickets and then you can cash them in for like prizes. That's kind of the idea. Instead of just doing straight up free sets, you can use your tickets to to get products which essentially most people are picking free sets but there are other items that you can choose from so make sure you check that out if you are in my vip group and are earning loyalty card sets uh loyalty card punches i should say so let's put this under and warm these up this is a little thicker than i want it to be so um i'm gonna try to clean that up all right so today earlier i went and got my hair cut colored and of course i had this appointment made my hairstylist which is hard to get in with and then it was a launch right at the same time so I was there in the chair uh placing reordering uh, ordering some lip gloss to have 
on hand or to sell and then um also stylus got a to pre-order a six all six colors of the gel eyeliner that are coming out so i'm very excited actually about the eyeliner because i don't wear eyeliner but i've been look seeing the pictures of some of these before and after and how it just really makes your eyes pop and i don't like eyeshadow so i think i like eyeliner might be a good like instead of i don't have to do both so we're gonna that's the deal hopefully uh oh I'm, I'm overheating these now i gotta turn that off these are getting too warm so i should take those out they're getting too warm because i can tell from this strip that it is getting a little too warm to use so i'm gonna Move, remove those from out from under the flax bag all right let's take those i'm just gonna rip that i should clean these up off camera better so let's just push them down to get them on here good with the chunky glitters like this like the crystal couture if you have glitter that ends up right at the end of the nail it is best to take a nail clippers and clip it off so you have like that curve of your nail and all that so you don't have to you, otherwise you'll get a little hole in the where the glitter was that when it rips off because so you can't rip a glitter in half but you can trim it with a nail clipper all right so if you didn't notice crystal couture is a very sparse glitter overlay and that is what i was going for having a little glittery fun but not all over all right i gotta clean that and i'll trim these up All right, so oh, my poor kiddo is coughing and out in the other room. So I have been meaning to do my nails all weekend and never got to it, but um, I did my nail prep over the weekend then, where I did use jojoba oil for cuticle oil, and I used then I did use some of the color sheet products. I don't know if it was the late the same day or later or the next day i don't remember how it actually how i actually did everything and then um today i did ridge filler for a base before i did my strips mainly because i was doing the um negative space so you're gonna see my bare nail bed so i don't know how to get my kiddo to stop coughing this pneumonia is no joke i don't know how long i think she said the antibiotics could take at least 48 hours before they start to feel better so ugh, no fun i don't knock on wood but i don't think i've ever had pneumonia not that I remember. I know my husband used to get it a lot, but he also has asthma. So I think that kind of goes with the uh, go hand in hand a little bit. So I like when I clean up the nail, then it gets the little extras get stuck underneath. Okay, so let's finish this up. Some people do not like Crystal Couture or the star uh, glitter overlays like this because they are random. So you'll get some areas that are really bare and some that are, you know, versus like ones that are all over glitters, which that is totally like a legit, you know, reason to not care for it. So if you don't like the sparse randomness, um, this one's not for you. 
but there are a lot of other glitter like all over glitter overlays that we do have okay here let me comb this off let me finish these are my a little bit of a wrinkle i want to remove And then we are going to, I don't know why I decided to do French tips when I'm, or like the slant tips when I am in a hurry. I'm not technically in a hurry. I had an hour, give myself an hour, I had to leave in an hour from when I started. And I had to leave in an hour and 10 minutes technically. So I figured it won't take a whole hour to do this. Oh yeah, we're at 35 minutes. So I'm almost done. So by the time I'll say 40 minutes, we should be good so sometimes those just don't perforate very well do they i know i should stop using oh it's too it's too short i'm gonna open a second one i need to get another nail strip because oh i didn't even seal this so even better because it's just too short and i don't I was just saying I should stop trying to always get two fingers done with one strip because I have enough nails or enough partial sets to do my nails for a long time. I don't think I need to be quite as frugal as I am. But if I can, I like to. <laughs> so, ugh. Oh, wrong nail. So sometimes you can, I know when I've worn the star, uh, the old star glitter set, Lucky Stars, or Lucky Star, I don't know what it's called, um, which was part of, say, uh, the, the, the 4th of July sets, I, um, I flipped it around and would use it facing a certain direction so I got the stars more where I wanted like if if there was a side that was more had more stars or whatever you could technically do you could technically do that with these as well you could kind of you know use one end if it was more glittery or if the glitter hit in a different spot the um the wishing stars is very similar to the lucky stars except it doesn't have the red and blue glitter and then the so it has the same thing though where it has the sparse it just has star shaped glitter and then this one is the bigger chunky hexagon i think they're hexagons um hollow glitter And then let's see here if I can get this. I actually want to get this off. Seriously. I wanted to try to get it off as cleanly as I could, and then of course it ripped. Funny. Okay, so I want to use this end first, or instead of the other end. All right, so again, to wrap this up, this is Crystal Couture, which I can't remember which where this was from <laughs> now that i think of it i really don't remember what collection this was from um but you could use clear as day or any glitter overlay that you would want to play around with and then slanted stacy slants the slanted french tips uh cut out of speedy sweetie from the new 
spring 2024 collection that one called pretty tough oh that reminds me i need to do a new updated restocks list now that we're at the end we finished february and valentine's day and the winter sets are all gone i was going to update that so i will do that sometime i'm going to finish off with the last of the my last thumb doing the crystal couture and oops the little clear plastic are sticking to me and then i am going to get some nail fees before heading to the chiropractor to hopefully do a little so he's been doing so i get dry needling done which i don't know if you've heard of that before i've probably talked about it but um it's like painful acupuncture is how i describe it <laughs> it's where they put needles but they're a little thicker or uh, bigger needles than acupuncture needles and it actually is meant to irritate to hurt when it goes in and it makes the muscles like spasm and then that helps them heal quicker somehow i don't really know why it does that i don't know but it's like a, it's quicker and we, i discovered that it was worth the temporary little bit of pain for the quicker recovery as i've been dealing with this herniated disc for years it f comes and goes it flares up and gets better for a while um I haven't it is per, it is I mean the next step eventually would be to get cortisone shots which I don't think that sounds fun either so but this last time he's been doing the needling he also puts these little zappy where he's like shocks not shocks them but like chiropractors use that I can't remember what that machine is called where they stick those things on you and then there's like little pulses of electricity he does that but with like the needles in my back so again it helps it heal quicker for me somehow somehow magically all right so i am loving this combo i saw it and wanted to uh copy it mimic it um use it as inspiration so i added mine's a little bit different just because i added the crystal couture but this is Oh, it's going to bug me that my stupid tips aren't all the same angle, but whatever. Speedy Sweetie cut along the stripes to make slanted stripes and then a crystal couture over it. So you guys have a wonderful day. I will talk to you later. Have a great day or night. Bye-bye.